Damn, I'm out. Warrior with peanut butter. It tastes like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in a cup. It's absolutely delicious. Uh, but okay, so today's video, it's a great one. Today's PUBG video is going to be about looting, how to speed loot in PUBG. So if you feel like you take way too long, get an in and out of your inventory, and you want to know some tips and tricks on how to get through that stuff a lot faster, this video is for you. Uh, so we're going to get started right now. But before we do, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe for more PUBG content. We're really close to a thousand subscribers. I know we can get it before 2021 with your help. So let's get looting. Give me the loot. All right, guys. So today's video, we're going to be covering the three ways you can loot in PUBG. You can single tap loot. You can drag and drop loot. And you can also do a combination of right click and drag and drop loot. And I'll explain which ways are the best and why in just a moment. Before we get started on that, I want to make sure you guys go to your settings, go to gameplay, go all the way down to your functionality section and make sure you, you enable auto equip attachments with interaction key, auto replace attachments and auto equip attachments from inventory. And I'll explain why later. All right. So first things first, the methods of looting in this game, you can, like I said, single tap loot. So if there's an item on the ground, you can press the uh, loot key and it'll pick it up and put it in your inventory or now it'll put it on your gun with that option enabled that we just did. So if there's multiple things on the ground, you can run through and F tab them all just like that. And they'll be on your guns. The other way you guys can loot is what I'm actually doing right now. I'm unlooting is doing the tab drag and drop method. So if there's a weapon on the ground with some attachments, you can drag the weapon and then drag the attachments over the specific weapon that you'd like it to, to be on. Now the third way, which is actually the fastest way is going to be a combination of right click and dragging onto the ground. Now let me pick some of this stuff up so it doesn't disappear. Let's do just the gun and the ammo. Now the way that this is the most useful is going to be in early parts of the game where you're hot dropping at a location and you're basically either having to fight over a gun or you're having to fight who gets the gun first and wins. So let's say there's an M4 in the ground with some ammo and another guy just dropped right over here and you're both are racing for a weapon. If you run and F loot, if you run and tab loot, You can do it that fast. And you see, I even made a mistake with dragging it. Now, if you do the right click and drag method, your possibilities for error go down significantly, but your speed also increases significantly. So if you run up to the weapon, right click on the weapon and drag the ammo in, by the time your character does the animation for picking up the weapon, it'll already be ready to be reloaded. So right click drag, and then you can be reloaded instantly and ready to fire. Now here's a word of advice. If there is multiple ammo boxes, like there usually is on uh, on hot drops or when you're picking up a weapon, it's best practice to right click on the weapon, drag one ammo box and immediately begin to reload your weapon. And don't even go for the other ammo box just quite yet because you can get that after you get your first shots off or your first kill, but you wanna have your gun ready to fire as soon as possible. Okay, so far so good. And real quick, I want to show you guys a couple of downfalls with the drag and loot method here. Let's say I want to uh, swap a scope on my on my M4. So right now I have a six times and I want to put the red dot on it. If I drag my scope onto it, I can drop it anywhere in this region right here. And the red dot will go on the gun easy. But if I happen to come down here, just a hair into the AUGs territory, it goes on the AUG. And what's worse, if I go past the box on the M4, it could go on the ground. So if you're in a big rush, you're getting shot at, you have a, or you have a high DPI where you're swiping really fast, you could potentially throw your scope right there on the ground and not even get to your gun. So that's the downfall of dragging your attachments and loot. What you should be doing is right clicking on the attachment or the scope or grip or whatever it is that you want on your gun. Now keep in mind when you right click method, it's gonna primarily go for the gun in your player's hands at the time. So right now it's the M4. So if I right click my 6X, it goes right to the M4. If I right click my tax stock, 
it goes right to the m4 now obviously it can't go to the aug but if there's two guns that could take tax stocks it would still go to the gun that's in my hands the only time it won't do that is if this gun can't accept whatever attachment you're trying to put on it so for example let's say i have the aug equipped and i go to the tax stock and i right click the tax stock it still goes to the m4 because the game knows the aug can't take a tax stock oops don't alt tab out also key fact <laughs> key fact so right clicking your attachments uh, in loot is going to improve your speeds and reduce your errors another key point of this video is going to be relating to that setting i made you guys turn on in the beginning of this video auto auto swapping attachments so let's say uh we have this aug that's in a loot crate that we're going up to okay so we're in the middle of a top 20 situation you know we're kind of concerned that people are looking at us they're probably going to start shooting at us soon especially when we get to the loot drop we want to be able to get in and get out as quickly as possible now there's a couple ways you can do that usually you're going to have two weapons in your inventory by the time you get to a loot drop usually so we'll act as if that is the case here so let's say the aug is in the loot drop and i want to replace my m4 or i'm assuming there might be an aug so i want to have my m4 ready to replace first you want to make sure the weapon that you want to replace is equipped on your character and then when you get to said weapon you could just drag it over the m4 that'll swap the m4 for the aug and also swap all of the attachments that it can take any attachments that the new weapon can't take it'll put those in your inventory if there's space so that's one way to do it but if we had two guns already in our inventory and we still wanted to pick that aug up if we right click on the aug it would swap with the m4 or whatever gun is uh in our in, in our hand rather and also swap all the attachments so like a lot of people they'll have is an m4 and a mini 14 here and they walk up to an aug and like oh i really want to swap my m4 for the aug instead of having to drag it and potentially swap the wrong weapon you just right click it and boom the aug would swap the m4 all your attachments would swap over and you're ready to roll real quick that same method also works for uh your armor and your backpacks and your helmets so you could run up to it right click drag it and then boom you're moving on with your life i'll show you again so you could f loot f loot but you're having to look down look away from what you want to be doing you're having to wait for the uh, animation delay to happen whereas if you just right click one drag the other you can get them on the run now another way that this right click method is going to be superior is let's say you're in a vehicle and you and your squad are getting ready to crash a compound and previously you had your longer 3x sight on your gun but now you want your red dot because you know you're about to be really close quarters instead of having to try to drive drag and drop at the same time you just simply right click it and it'll go to that top weapon that you had equipped last when you got into the vehicle all right and as you might have guessed the same method works for equipping uh, frag grenades or equipment too so you can right click on the specific grenade you want to swap and it'll swap it down here to your inventory so you don't have to worry about dragging and dropping it potentially losing it like i just did there you just right click the one you want and it'll swap uh, same thing works for your equipment let's say i want to swap my butt pan for the gas can that's in my equipment right, right now i just simply right click that item and it'll swap it back and forth now the only time you run into an issue there is if you don't have enough space to swap it over so let's say i had too much ammo in my backpack and i wanted to right click to swap my gas can over i don't have enough space in my inventory to swap the butt pan so you would have to make room and you can do that quickly by holding the alt key and right clicking on uh weapons uh ammo it'll drop half of whatever that quantity is so half of the grenades half of the ammo and that's a way you can quickly make space or you can of course just drag it out the way swap it and then take back whatever you wanted all right guys so that wraps it up for today's tips and trick video for PUBG looting i hope this was helpful for you just a quick recap single f loot is going to be the slowest way but still useful for single pickup items uh drag and drop is really useful for multiple items right click and dragon is going to be the fastest and uh, least error prone way that you can loot so if you did find this video helpful please be sure to leave a like subscribe for more pubg videos and let me know in the comments below if you prefer one way or the other 
or if you have other video ideas you'd like to see from this channel. Also, don't forget, I stream five days a week, guys, on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash C underscore dome on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Fridays, which are community nights, Saturday and Sunday, which is today. Actually, this video is probably going to be tomorrow. You'll see this video tomorrow, Monday, which I won't be streaming. We're streaming Tuesday. Damn. Anyway, all right. Uh, make sure to check me out live. Uh, come chat. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you again for watching. Take care. Peace.